This is Twit. The uh, other big feature that is not an end user feature but will lead to lots of apps that people will go nuts for is AR Kit, mm-hmm. which is Apple's weighing into augmented reality. Uh, the general perception was because Apple doesn't talk about what it's doing that it wasn't really doing anything in terms of VR or AR. And they had stories for both on stage. I think mm-hmm. AR Kit was the more interesting because what they did was create tools for developers to build augmented reality products. The, in other words, the App Store will be full of augmented reality games and things and utilities perhaps mm-hmm. come the release of iOS 11. And I talked to some people who are in the know about augmented reality and virtual sets and all sorts of other things who said that they were really blown away by the fact that Apple was essentially doing all of this heavy lifting for them so that all they have to do is build the apps because the AR kit stuff works in. And I, you know, I, I, it's, again, it's not very exciting because it's a developer announcement at a developer conference, mind Mm. you. But I just get this feeling that this is because Apple's got so many third party developers in the app store now, Mm -hmm. and that they've just handed this toolkit to them, that it's going to end up being way more impressive than if Apple just built a few AR things into the operating system, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Into their, into the camera app or something like that. My colleague, Mark Sullivan wrote about the fact that this may presage the next iPhones, it's not unreasonable to think that if Apple starts building AR functionality into the operating system, it might want to give cameras to an iPhone Mm -hmm. to let it do even better stuff than you can do today with um, the one camera on the iPhone 7 and the two cameras on the iPhone 7 Plus. Yeah, uh, one of the people I talked to said that they just, they were amazed at the math they know the math that goes into some of those calculations, mm-hmm. like when they do the demo on the on the table and they come up with the table edge and all of that. And it's incredibly hard. And that's a huge barrier to doing mm-hmm. AR and that AR kit does that math for you. So you don't have to as a developer. It's a pretty big step. Well, if I'm a I think that's a big thing. Go ahead, go ahead Lisa. No, no, oh, Micah, go uh, ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I think that's the big thing right there is how much of this stuff Apple's doing. I am in no way a developer, but I have been playing with AR kit um, and making little apps and models of stuff just to see what I could do. And like I said, I'm not a developer. I, I, I was basically just drag and drop to make this stuff happen. And I had my dogs like running under chairs that were only visible in my AR kit scene and, and uh, you know, setting down lamps and stuff like that and taking photos of them, like running around them and interacting with them. And that is, it, it's incredible. I mean, it, it's genuinely incredible. And to think of what uh, some different companies might create with this. And I was talking with a friend of the internet, Joe Steele, about some of this (laughs) stuff as well. Um, And and Joe does uh, does visual stuff in in movies and television shows and uh, talking about the possibilities there for doing uh, interesting graphics with even like pre-made video. So, you know, you might already have a video made, but could AR kit potentially like ingest a video that's already been made and then use that and, and figure out control points. I mean, there's just a lot of possibility here. And yeah, Apple's taking a lot of the the load off of developers to create that stuff so that someone who knows nothing about it can put a chair in their living room in no time at all and, you know, laugh about the fact that my dogs are like running through it. It's just really interesting. And I'm looking forward to more pop-up books and I don't know, Lego scenes and all the other stuff that they were showing. But what I'm really hoping for is that Pocket Minecraft gets an AR kit uh, <laughs> extension and then I can like play Minecraft on my living room table. Yeah.